to show you how to easily load a cartridge into a manual grease gun preferably without getting covered in grease before you start unturn it a couple twists so you can get your lever pulled back nice and easy make sure it's all the way back somewhere have a little notch in the back here that you can clip it over on once you've done that fully undo the cylinder so next of choose your cartridge you want to use you've got two ends um, you want to be putting this end into the cylinder like this so slide that in at this point you want to pull off your your tab Stick it on there. So once that's pushed all the way back, you're good to screw your lid back on. Once you screw the head back on, screw it all the way up. Then back it off a couple turns. This will allow you to let the air out when you let the rod back up. So at this point, slowly let the rod off and push the cylinder all the way back, the rod into the cylinder. Now you can tighten it all the way up. So once you're nice and tight, you'll see there's a, a little uh, bleed nipple on the top, just there. That's what you need to press to allow the air to come out as the springs force in forcing the um, grease up so you press that down until grease comes out as you can see mine was already preloaded so grease is already coming out but if yours isn't then you press that you'll hear the air come out and eventually when you get grease coming out then you know you've got no air up to this point in the gun you're going to want to pump the gun until you get grease coming out the end once you get it coming out the end then you know you've got a properly filled grease gum with no air in there